I'm Liz. And I'm Lou. We're here in Portugal on a mission to find the coolest places to go outside Lisbon. For this journey, we have consulted with Jose. Give me five. Jose is amazing. <laughs> Bring me to the center of Portugal. Oh! Carry <laughs> on brand. Our first stop was the historic fishing town of Nazare, famous today for the giant 10-story waves that crash onto its shores. Make your way to the top of the village for jaw-dropping views of the Portuguese coastline. The best time to see the big waves is between October and March. After Nazare, stop by the town of Peniche to eat lunch at Perfresco, a family seafood market turned restaurant that serves a gigantic Portuguese seafood platter. This is a family business with uh, more than 25 years old. We started just as a fish market. We started thinking about a concept where you can uh, eat at the fish market. So we start building the restaurant inside of the fish market. And now we have what you can see here, big restaurant and a small fish market. <laughs> and the seafood in Portugal is very, very good because the water here is not too hot, uh, neither too cold. So the texture of the seafood is very, very good. So we're here at the University of Coimbra. Rumor has it, this is actually where JK Rowling got the inspiration for the robes that the students wear at Hogwarts. How come American students don't wear those? Like, that looks sick. If you were to open any of these books, they would just start screaming at you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> so I feel like I've gotten 20% smarter just by being in here. It's time for class. For dinner, Jose took us to Zemanuel Bones restaurant, where the food is so good, the walls are plastered with poems written by its patrons. The main dish here is called Bones, AKA pig vertebrae. Uh, That's the best. Cheers <laughs> for a half a of wine. They call this dessert. Vomit. Oh, like it's not actually called that, but that's the nickname here. Hey, Tell us so more about that, Liz. <laughs> so that's how you actually get the dessert. <laughs> so you feed everyone the wine, and then that produces the next day's vomit dessert. <laughs> I'm leaving. What? <laughs> So we're here in Gondramaz at the Schist village and staying in these tiny little hobbit houses. They're so cute. So the town has 80 houses but only 10 permanent residents. So people just come here for the weekend or for holidays. Really, really quiet. There are 27 Schist villages in the center of Portugal and seven of them are in the mountains of Serra de Lusa. These historical medieval towns get their name from the Schist stones that the buildings are made out of. It's a nice place to be a hobbit. Next, we visited the city of Aveiro, nicknamed the Venice of Portugal due to the beautiful canals that flow through the city. It's also the perfect place to eat delicious Portuguese sweets like ovo schmolish. Ovo schmolish is a wafer confectionery with a sweet egg yolk filling, often formed into nautical shapes like barrels or seashells. You can find them all over Aveiro, but the best are found here, an entirely female and family-run company since 1882. Next, we want to try the Tripa de Afairo, which is this beautiful combination of a waffle and a crepe. It's super, super thick and gooey. They pour it over the griddle, they put a little bit of chocolate sauce over, fold it together, and like, just the best thing you've ever eaten in your life. Not gonna lie, it was honestly one of my favorite desserts that I've ever had. And really, the best place to try this is Aveiro because if you order Tripa in somewhere like Lisbon or Porto, you're probably going to end up with Tri. If you ever wanted to stay in a fairy tale castle, then you have to stop by the Busaco Palace Hotel. It was built by the last kings of Portugal in 1885 in the middle of an enchanted forest. Oh like you get a tour of this place, but to think that you can actually sleep here, it's crazy. Our room starts at 500 euros, but you can actually get rooms here starting at $80 a night. And it's actually a lot less crowded than a lot of other castles in Portugal because not as many people know about it. We're actually gonna have lunch. They're famous for their suckling pig, so I'm really excited to try that. Mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> Salivating. 
We're here in Monsanto. It's one of the 12 historic villages in the center of Portugal. It's the cutest little village. It's on the side of a mountain and all the houses here are built out of rocks. It's like Flintstones IRL. The town of Monsanto is right near the border of Spain and historically was a strategic outpost in times of war. Spend your day exploring the town and stop by Pisticos and Gritos for lunch, a restaurant built into the side of a rock with stunning views of the surrounding area. <sighs> I'm out of breath from walking from one house to the next. How do you get like all your stuff up here? Gosh, it just feels like the ceiling's gonna cave I in know. on you. Yeah. Those rocks make me really nervous. <laughs> Why are you pushing me Good. into it? I think this was uh, a mini bar. Drinks on the rocks. Oh, the rocks! <laughs> the toilet has a rock wall. It's from the climate. And that's all for Brimi's Guide to the Center Region of Portugal. Let us know your own recommendations in the comments below. Thanks for watching.